Hello all party fans out there, this is me, No One's Rush More 4, and I'll tell you this guys, the project is finally done. If you wonder what project it is, it is the My Little Pony plush project, my actual homemade plush. It is done, it is over with, and I'm happy, for now. Now, i tell you this, it's nowhere near perfect, it's nowhere near professional, which is perfect. And just, it's my first time, so. Without further ado, let me introduce to you, Phillies and Gentacolts, I do see you, Vic Bohoff, my official homemade plush. And yes, folks, it is done, it is right here, it is real, and it's cuddly, so, okay. Let me get down to, to the details. I'm happy that it's done. Alright. But there's a lot of flaws with this thing. A lot more problems than the, there needs to be from the plush. Alright. Um, before I get on to it, I'm going to grab Pinkie Pie. Come here, Pinkie. And uh, she has been a very good assistant of mine, haven't you? So. Alrighty. So, I'm going to be using you as a comparison a lot, okay, Pinkie? She's happy excited to be my, uh, you know, whatever. Pinky, so settle down. So, right. Let me get on to the comparisons. Where to start? Right. F first things first is that you can see the legs are like. <laughs> not really straight and up and down compared to her. Okay? You see that? And it's kind of wiggly too compared to her. Nice and tough. That's the one problem. The reason why is because the belly is too dang big. Compared to her, it is too big, like I said. The other reason is that the sewings, you know, right here. Not the case with mine. Mm -mm. I was kind of thinking too far ahead. That's what happens. Think too far ahead, mistakes just come like that. So, it's way up here is where the lines are, and it should have been down here. Note to self, to me, and to others, don't think ahead too far. When you're done with the main body, okay, do this part last before you actually stuff the stuff, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. That's one flaw. The other flaw is that the legs are too dang skinny. Okay, that's one thing. Compared to Pinky, you know, uh, there we go. So that's one flaw. The other flaw is that the hind legs, you know, the sorry, um, this. Okay, that's not the case. I did it. But it turned out it was too small, and the time I sewed it together, it just disappeared. It was gone. Completely gone. And even by me trying to stuff it up, it just didn't want to come back. So, not to self, make it bigger than I really need. So, and then it should come out perfect next time. And, uh, so... Right. Oh, and, uh, the reason why it's too small for, for the legs is because I came in too... F I intersected them too far in, okay? And that's the reason why. I should have gave it a little bit of room. That's what they did with this one. <sighs> okay, what else? Um, 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 Right. The chest. The chest is too big. Okay, the reason why is that I did not do the, um, the right um, sewing, okay? For Pinky, Hers is it's like a, um, a pyramid or a triangle shape. Mine is just straight up and down. That's another reason why. So, um, and also the neck, uh, the neck doesn't look near as perfect as Pinky does because, like I said, the alignment. And I had to get in there and kind of sew things up to make it look like the neck was kind of squeezed in, but I mean, just. I mean, it, you may not notice it, but see right there, that, that's a big notice right there. And I tried to fill that in with cotton, and it just didn't want to do it. Well, polyester, sorry. But, um, right. 
What else is this there to, to uh, beggar about? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, yes, the kingdom marks. Let's get to the kingdom marks, okay? One of flaw is that one cutie mark is further up than the other, okay? Um, this one right here, this is the first one I did, and it's too bold, it's too big, okay? Compared to the other side, it's perfect, just perfect. Just a piece of, masterpiece. And, yeah. And also, the kitty marks are too dang high, okay, and it looks like they're about to intersect each other. Next time, I have to be able to get it down to here, to the back hind legs, okay, for both sides. Alrighty, um, what else is to talk about? Right, the ears. The ears are too dang low, okay, compared to her again, right? The ears are small, that doesn't bother me. But the thing that bothers me is that somehow, some way, I thought it was good until I put it together. It's like crap. I it just looks like a flipping other animal than a unicorn or whatever. The ears should have been up more. Instead, they're like down here, and to me, that's like an ear on the neck, like like a uh, croco from Fairy Odd Pants. I watched the show, so yeah, deal with that. Um, right. So that goes for both. Both of these right here. Now, um, the eyes, okay? This one right here is the first one. This one's perfect as heck. I did cut out two of the white fabrics to help me, you know, do all the pupils and the coloring of the eye and whatever. Okay. Both of them were perfect, but one side turned out well, and the other side was like, whoa, what just happened? Yeah, I, I kind of... It's like a derpy to it, you know what I mean? Like one eye is smaller than the other, but derpy has like two eyes that went like that on herself, so... Yes. Um, the... The muscle is not bad, it can be better, it could be coming in just a little bit more. It could have been more straightened out, so that's the next thing I have to worry about. Um... The back here is that... It was too far out. I should have came in like this and had another fabric here, like hers, okay? Compared to two. So that's another. Oh, jeez. What else? What else? What, what else? Okay. Um, you can see there I got my half smoke on my face. See? And uh, so that's fine. The muzzle of the nose is fine, my mustache is fine, so that's all good. Um, okay. The horn. Um, let me get out another pony. Um, and uh, here is Princess Cadence. And she has been also another good assistant of mine. Thank you, Your Highness. And um, yeah, I used her for the horn, to measure her horn, and I promised her I wasn't going to cut her. She was kind of nervous. Okay. Well, she really wasn't, but, you know, I told her not to worry, but, yeah, so that helped. Um, you can see here the, this part is kind of too in, so, you know, whatever. Um, and I tried to sew in the spiral, but it's green, so you can barely see it, so shouldn't didn't do that, but, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so that's pretty much it about the horn. So may go Princess Cadence, thank you again. And uh right. So all in all, it's not bad. Okay. It's terrible. But I'm happy that I got it done. Okay. And I'm happy that I realized what what did go on. Right. And I try to make it look like on the Icon slash avatar on my YouTube channel on the red you know, lines. I didn't do on the tail because I didn't think there was no need. Um, but yeah. But I mean, it looks so good in hand. I mean, it, but it can be better and it will be better. 2.0 will be the next one and the last one, hopefully. Um, 
And I tell you this, guys, you guys have been very patient with me. The ones that didn't believe, believe it now. The ones that has been kind of saying, okay, you know, that's great. Um, yeah, so I want you guys to chill me on for the next one. The next one will be a third dimension, like this Japanese version right here that I got from Comic Con, Columbus, Ohio. If you want something like this to be done perfectly, you need to cheer me on. Because this is going to be pain in the bee, okay? And there's a lot of perfect things going on with this thing. And I need to look at every last little detail if I want to make this to turn into this, but green and whatever else, okay? Um, the next one will have a perfect tail like this in main, okay? Right here. With tuning marks on both sides, but they will be aligned perfectly. And the back of the, you know, this right here. Um, the ears will be higher. It'll be completely higher and I will make sure that the lines are not going to be straightened up and down they're going to be just coming in just a little bit and I'm going to make sure that the fabric is not going to be all huge um, it, it might look like they're going to be connected but the reality is it that you sew them close together and you stuff them in it will pop out and it will look gorgeous so that's pretty much all I have to say about my homemade plush here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been a very fun project and I've learned a lot. My phone's going off. Ignore that. So, this has been a very fun project. Another one will be coming soon. Not today, not tomorrow, not the next week, not the month, or the next month after. It's going to happen somewhere after summer. And it will get done somewhere in middle of 2016, okay? So... Right. Hope you guys enjoy this. My mouth is dry and need some water. Uh, I don't talk much, so this is the most I've talked in a long time. Because I had a lot to talk about. So... Hope you guys liked it. Um, I want to thank Pinky for my her assistance, <laughs> and uh, you know this is some other ponies that I helped out. Yo, Cadence, come back here, please. So these real actual plushes were good assistance, very good assistance. So expect a bad one. This one is going to be used to remind me of what not to do again. And what to make better. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I wish every pony and every pony fan out there a good day. So, bye folks.